मैं डॉक्टर जसविंदर सिंह संधू सो टुडे आई विल बी मेनली स्पीकिंग ऑन द व्हाट इज रीनल फेलियर वन इज एक्यूट किडनी फेलियर सेकंड वन इज ए क्रॉनिक किडनी फेलियर व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू एक्यूट मींस इट हैज कम ओवर अ शॉर्ट वेरी शॉर्ट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम द किडनीज हैव स्टॉप फंक्शनिंग स्टॉप वर्किंग ओवर वेरी शॉर्ट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम एंड इट इज रिवर्सिबल वी कैन वी गिव ए क्योर टू दिस पर्टिकुलर एंटिटी बाय डायरेटिक स्पोर्ट एंड बाय द ड्रग्स सीकेडी ऑन द अदर हैंड क्रॉनिक किडनी डिजीज ऑन द अदर हैंड इज नॉट रिवर्सिबल सो व्हाट्स एवर डैमेज हैज अकर्ड हैज डैमेज हैज अकर्ड इज अ परमानेंट डैमेज सो इट विल नॉट रिवर्ट बैक टू नॉर्मल ट्रीटमेंट फॉर दैट इज वी गिव स्पोर्टिव केयर टिल द पेशेंट रिक्वायर्स डायलिसिस either we keep the patient alive on dialysis or or we go for transplantation transplantation gives a cure to the patient patient leads a normal life after that so we prefer to go for transplantation wherever possible we can take the patients for transplantation till the age of 60 60 tak at, at till the age of 70 we are we can do the transplantation after that the age is no bar for transplantation but still we we go we do it up to 70 71 72 Now, what are the causes of acute kidney failure? Acute kidney failure can be because of the fluid loss from the body, like on exposure to heat, stroke, etc., or loose tools, or or it can be the drugs which might have been taken by the patient, which which have harmed the kidney. Ayurvedic drugs we can call those. So we we know the which are the drugs which are safe in for kidney, which are not safe for kidney. So we avoid. those drugs which can cause damage to the kidney we avoid those drugs in our practice and once a patient develops renal failure then we keep that patient alive by dialysis maybe daily maybe every other day till the patient starts recovering patient recover generally within 2 to 3 weeks and till the time we keep the patient alive by dialytic modality and once recovery starts it's a complete recovery and patient goes to a normal life further acute kidney injury does not mean that patient will go into ckd can go into c trunk and get transformed into ct certain types only for example pregnancy lit pregnant ladies if they develop acute cortical necrosis that is not reversible then after 3 months we give a label of ckd to her to those patients that means they need a kidney for survival transplantation for survival now we have it's very easy to diagnose a k acute kidney failure or chronic kidney failure based on or the tests which are available with the with us these days so we can we can localize we can pinpoint whether it's acute kidney failure versus chronic kidney failure ultrasound is a, is a very important in vaccine for that ultrasound the ultrasound kidney size is normal on ultrasound in acute problem they are small in size in patients with chronic kidney disease so both are both can be easily treated ckd of course we can give a normal life with transplantation 